Good morning and welcome back to another video and in this video we are gonna go get our new bag this video we started quite a while ago but we never started it because we were so excited to go get our new bag or bags did we get one did we get two we'll see so let's get started <music> As you can see but while we were gone we got a phone call from the neighbors that there was a random car here with two guys uh, looking around for things and had some kind of sore excuses so as you can see I don't know if you can see but to check the barn if everything is okay okay good news everything is still where it was so we don't know if that person was actually he said to the neighbors that he was looking for a ramp to fix his brakes or something so I don't know if he was actually wanted to fix something but he messed up the houses but there's also not so many houses around that you could you know mess up and we finally have to close the barn or one more like that and everything is gone but luckily so far they've said that everything is still inside okay back to the good news we have a little bug so yeah <laughs> he's he's looking he's fine he's just maybe a bit tired so i'm waiting for david not to get the camera he's still talking to the neighbors and uh, yeah i'm gonna introduce him to the boys so as, as I said in the video, everything is good, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna stay good. Probably they were coming just for a look lookout, so we either have to, for now, for tonight or the nights after, we have to take all the tools inside, at least all the expensive things and the e-bike. But yeah, we'll see. That's another topic, but I was shaking. I was so stressed out, and David, of course, everyone, and the neighbors were so stressed out. But the sun came out, and this boy over here, he has been the calmest goat we have ever brought. I was sitting here right for like 15 minutes while David was talking. He's been sitting quite chill looking around and um, yeah he's a very kind boy so far. He really likes licking and not really biting as I said he just likes licking <laughs> licking around and uh, yeah so let's bring him to the boys. I cannot put him down because I'm pretty sure then he's just gonna go random direction so I have to carry him. So yeah my hand is pretty fallen asleep down here and I think he also needs to do some business because he was not screaming I said he was sleeping everything fine only on the dirt road he started getting a bit angry and screaming around he really enjoyed it when we were driving very faster but uh, yeah so let's bring him to the boys <laughs> yeah you ready to meet your boys yeah. oh my goodness how are we gonna do this huh so I got him let's bring him oh I'm sweaty which way are we going just straight across We should maybe have left peppers out, but I don't know if that would scare them away more. Anyways, we're gonna let them out now. Oh, you better have a heavy boy. I think they're gonna get super excited, the big ones. Don't get scared of the electric fence, yeah? Okay, Maruli, be gentle, gentle. I think he needs to, boop, boop, beep, beep. his legs probably are asleep. Definitely, you, you're a good boy, yeah? Oh, I don't want to hear him getting dropped. No, 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 no. Okay. He didn't even make a noise. Hey, Maruli. 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 Maruli loves when things run. Maruli. So he's kind of stuck at my armpit. He's uh, like, I don't know, holding him or anything. He just feels safe under my armpit. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're okay. He's a baby boy. Yeah, you're okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's not bad, Cody's. We did want to get two. Okay, let's see what happens. He's starting to get used to it. I think he also was stressing out to pee and poop. Which he's a very good boy. He didn't do in the car. So now he's... Maybe I'll get him used to it. We did want to get two, but I didn't want to get two because I'm thinking maybe we could get one next year or the year after. He yes. might actually run under the trailer to hide if he has to. Oh, that's good. Yeah, from the other boys to hide away. <laughs> so yeah, the reason why I didn't get two is because maybe we want to get one in the year after or the year after, the, the upcoming year or the next year. Something like that because he's going to make babies and in case we're keeping one of the girls, he you know cannot mate with his kid in theory that she's going to make. So that's why I was thinking not to get two. I wanted to actually get one of his brothers, his brother, the other one, the black one you saw, the bit darker one. But uh, yeah, that's the reason I didn't get one. Just so we, that's why I'm feeling a bit bad that he's alone, but he's a big boy, he's gonna do it. <laughs> so the other ones are kind of ignoring him. They sniff, they sniff that it's a boy, nothing interesting. He kind of is missing someone his age, but I'm feeling a bit sad, but it's okay. He just needs to learn that the legs are fancy. He did get zapped, but I think not, in, not like he noticed that he got zapped from the legs are Maybe he thought something else. And then come here. Yo. <coughs> Yo. So there was the two bags. It was this one and his brother, the bit darker one. I wanted to get the darker one, but I just fell in love with his personality. <laughs> so he's very friendly. He was like straight away the one to come out. So he was the first one to come out and to pet him. He was very friendly. I was actually thinking maybe it's not good because he was very beggy. He was like a, he was like kind of the leader from the three there, I would assume. But I kind of like his personality more. The other one was a bit more scared. So yeah, I think he's gonna be a good boy for our girls. I really like his colors, his pattern. He has the same kind of pattern like Max had. And I don't wanna call him Max because you know, Max is Max, and as you saw, we have the little Maxime. So let us know what to call him. I don't know if you can see him. But you saw him, so I have already a name. But I do want to hear your suggestions, maybe have a better idea. My idea is Peter. And the reason Peter is because he looks like Peter Rabbit. His lines and his ears and he's like brown golden, like Peter Rabbit. Because I took a photo, like a lower one, a selfie. And he looked like a bit of a, like a rabbit. So I call him Peter Rabbit. But just Peter, not the rabbit part. But if you have better suggestions, let me know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep you updated before we end this video how he's doing. We're gonna bring them some water, some hay. But uh, yeah, he seems to kind of be adapting, right? <laughs> yeah, you see he has the dark line like Maxi or the white line. Bitty. He has the same kind of pattern. Yeah? What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. You're a good boy. No, not going out. You're not going out. Careful. Yeah, he was trying to follow me last time. Yes. But that zappy. No, no, no. Can't squeeze through, right? No, no. no. This has been many goats tried. Yes, yeah, so many goats have tested this gate. It's not escapable. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Where are you running? No, 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 that's zappy. Sure? Yeah. Those are better, huh? Loud is Why are you you're screaming? Short? Your voice is quite loud. Yes. Why are you so loud? He thinks we are hitting him with the fence, by the way. Why don't you sit? It's a wheelbarrow. Quite wrong. Go inside. Go, go, go. You're hopping around like a little rabbit. Is that what you wanted? There you go. Now you're covered in hair. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> so we have a few hours later and uh, he is a big complainer. I mean, I was concerned about it because he was complaining a lot there as well. But then on the other hand, he's also very loving. So I was pretty like, do we want the complainer that is attached to us or we want a bit more scared one? So yeah, he's complaining a lot and biting and licking a lot. But uh, yeah, every time we leave, he screams. Every time he sees us, he screams. And he screams his lungs off. Not like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he screams. Now you're all loving and caring and like all mm -hmm, kisses, kisses and cuddles. Yeah. 
But outside you have to scream and run away. <laughs> he has gotten zapped many times from the fence, so he knows not to go near it. He's very scared of it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep you updated tomorrow. See what he's doing. Are you gonna stop screaming so much? Oh. Do you maybe want the wood? Maybe he wants a stick. We're gonna bring him a stick. Maybe. I did. You did? Say right next to you. Oh, <laughs> not the biggest farm. Okay, so we have uh, some other work we need to do, but we're gonna update you. Yeah, maybe tomorrow or maybe later. We'll see. So let's try to leave and see what he does. I'm pretty sure he's gonna scream. He's a very like attached to us, but when it comes to outside, he doesn't like us. <laughs> he likes his house. Maroli. Oh, I cannot have him in my house. What's wrong? Now we're friends outside. Huh? Good night. The volume is gonna increase as we're leaving. What is that? <laughs> Marshmallow dancing, yes, I know. Mm. <laughs> the closer you get, the more like silent you get. <gasps> Why, big boy? Yeah. So we have not the next day, but two days later. And as you can see, he has become fully a part of the crew. We haven't actually filmed much. But uh, yeah, they're going all up to eat and he's going with them. He's not as scared as you can see. He's all fine. He doesn't scream anymore so much. Only when he sees us and we leave, that's when he starts screaming. But he forgets about it. And uh, yeah, I think he's fully adapted to the new environment. And uh, this little guy over here, that he was actually Max's... Max's kid and he was a little one now he has taken the adult role and he's taking care of him they're not fighting at all he's, he's just going like sometimes sideways a bit like don't like you know leave me alone but not like hooking him or aggressive or anything they're very good friends yeah and you haven't and I think you smell a bit huh you smell the competition next to you because <laughs> he smells a bit but not as much and uh, yeah he hasn't peeped on himself yet but he's a very big cuddle boy I was actually sitting yesterday on the ramp and I was holding in holding him and he was processing so he still needs some love and cuddles until he starts peeing on himself <laughs> but um yeah that's pretty much it we are pretty happy we got a back and a very good boy so far so good you're like Evie but big so I hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you in the next one let's do some cuddles and then we have a lot of work to do <laughs> he's a very chill boy